this one. They had two 16 passing. You guys had five sacks, all of yours. Their leading rusher was 35 yards at the quarterback. You got to feel like those numbers stack up in your favor. What was so difficult about today? You know, it was, um, I thought we played well on defense. I thought, you know, for as low as their yards was, you know, we just gave up a couple easy ones. I mean, maybe on that one right before half. And then second half, we had a bad drive that I think, you know, you got to be very critical. And I think in those moments, you know, we got to we got to get a stop. And um, it's one of those defensive games where you just got to you got to hold it down. And, you know, they just squeaked it out at the end. Baker Mayfield, certainly not a mobile quarterback that you guys often think about trying to defend against the run. What made him so le lethal in those couple of situations when he got the touchdown as well as a couple of first downs? I mean, if, if you watch film, I mean, in week one, he was he was doing the same thing he did to us. You know, he's I think he causes a lot of issues for defense just with his legs. He's very athletic and he has very good feel around the pocket. So it's uh you know, we, we knew it was he was going to get some plays with his legs because you can't contain him all the time. But I think in general we did a pretty good job keeping him in the pocket. When you look at this team's <clears throat> mentality at home, how do you guys bounce back from this? Yeah, it's. I mean, it sucks, but I, I was just talking to some guys. I think this is, this is going to be really good for us. You know, I, we, we had an early loss last year, too. And, you know, I remember we lost to Seattle and everybody thought we sucked again, you know. And so it was... <laughs> I think we're going to keep this one in perspective, and you know, if we're going to be struggling a little bit as a, as a team, I'd rather we struggle early rather than late. And we're going to, you know, the plan is to catch fire as we get through the season, and then, um, you know, then we, we go from there. Give me a sense just what it feels like to pick up five sacks in a game, and did you feel like things were really working in your favor early on when you got one, two, and three? Obviously, they had some issues with Gedeke out. <clears throat> yeah, it was. Uh, it was fun out there. It was, I feel like I was just in a flow state, you know, and it was, uh, I was kind of just staying very focused the whole game. And I think our rush lanes were really good. And a couple of those sacks were our D tackles getting great penetration. And then I'm just kind of wrapping off. And so it's, uh, you know, I think it's definitely a lot of my production, but I think a lot of it was um, our D line just playing at a high level. And then, but I was reaping a lot of the rewards. So, I, but I think it was, um, it's definitely, results of, of, of everybody rushing really hard. How much was that a continuation from last week because you get the sack at the end of regulation and then you come into this game and just tear off the amount of sacks that you did? Yeah, I, you know, I think it's just things are just flowing, you know what I mean? And you just you stay in that flow state and you, I think I have a really good mentality right now. And, um, yeah. When you talk about this game maybe being good for you guys, was there a little bit of conversation <laughs> about that after the game? And, and what did Coach say to you guys? You know, um, he was he was pretty emotional after this one. You know, he he, t he took a lot of it. I mean, he he took accountability. But I, I think you know, um, we we could have pulled it through. You know, we had a little miscue at the end of half, but I think we we had we had all the opportunities in the world to then pull through in the second half. So I mean, he he, he takes accountability, which is you'd love to see out of your head coach. But but then again, you know you know there were a lot of plays left on the table defense, offense, that we could have just won that game. And that whole halftime thing would have been an afterthought, you know. So that's, that's the way these, these games go sometimes. So it's, uh, it is what it is. And, but I think, I think we're going we're gonna to come out of this great. What, what was said at, at halftime about how you guys ended that first half? You know, just similar to what I, what I was saying, what he was saying at the end of the game. You know, he was, uh, we had the mindset of, uh, you know, he, he was taking the blame pretty hard, but I, I think as a defense and an offense, you know, you wanna, you wanna just make make it up, you know. And and um, unfortunately, we couldn't. So he's, you know, he, I think he's really feeling it right now. But I think there was a lot of plays in that game that, you know, we had an opportunity to, you know, that whole miscue would be an afterthought. What are your emotions like? You had a career day, but the team camped a little bit short. How do those two clash? You know, I think you just gotta. You got to look at the silver lining in it all, and I think it, you know. Again, like I said earlier, we had an early loss like this last year, and I think it propelled us to do great things. And um, I think that's that's what that's what this is going to do as well. Guys, time for two more. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't see anything. I was I was on my guy. Um, 
I mean, I knew they were going to heat them up. They got they play a lot of five down front, um, and we know that their DC likes to blitz a lot and and kind of heat people up. So especially in a passing situation, you know, I mean, we kind of knew they were going to try and heat us up, maybe do load fronts games and stuff like that. So um, definitely a big challenge um, on that particular play. I didn't see uh, what happened. Taylor, when you look at the numbers for this one, obviously the one that is really glaring, and I'm not sure if you're aware, one for seven in the red zone. Yep. They're pretty uncharacteristic for this offense. Yep. Does that pretty much sum up the day in the game? Do you feel like you guys beat yourselves a little bit? Um, well, I'm, I'm not going to take any credit away from the Buccaneers. That's, that's a really good football team. Um, so credit to them because they made plays when they had to. Um, but yeah, it just felt like there was a lack of execution down there when we needed to make plays. And you know, in the run game for us as an offensive line, we can't have negatives or, or no gains. Like that's that's brutal, especially because we pride ourselves on being able to run the ball in the red zone, even though that is a really good front. Um, so yeah, we just got to be better. It seemed like when Vita Vea went out, things did get a little easier. You guys had that scoring drive. What in particular were they doing to really slow you guys down in that run game? I know that was one of the points of emphasis this week. Well, they, they want to cover down a lot of the linemen, uh, you know, if, unless they're in nickel, obviously they'll have uh, four defensive linemen, but a lot of times in base, they're going to basically have five defensive linemen and they got linebackers that can run. And then on top of that, they're bringing pressure all over the place. Um, so we have keys to read off of to kind of pick those things up, um, but you still have to execute, you know, even if you know it's coming, you still got to make your blocks and stuff like that. So uh, it puts a lot of guys one on one. So there's a lot of individual blocks and everybody's got to win. Obviously, the defense held up their end of the deal pretty well today. When they have an effort like that and you see what Aiden Hutchinson does, just give me a sense of, of how that feels for just the team overall to see him have that kind of day. Yeah, it's pretty incredible, um, and and we've known all through camp. I mean, you know, me and Panay have been battling with this guy all camp, and you know, he just seems to get better and better and better. Um, and was it five? You said. Yeah. I mean, that's. I mean, that's that's pretty incredible. Um, but it's a credit to him and the way he works. Um, I mean, the guy is relentless every single day. So, um, you know, he, he makes us better, and hopefully we make him a little bit better. Um, and then just for us as an offense, it's frustrating when your defense goes out there and puts on a performance like that, and we're not able to uh, capitalize on the opportunities that we have. What was kind of said in here after the game? Because you, I mean, you used the word frustrating. Yeah. I mean, that, that seems to be the definition of a game like this. Yeah, I mean, um, it, it, we moved the ball. But we just weren't able to score in the red zone, and that's brutal. I mean, we we got to come away with points in the red zone. Um, and again, it just goes back to, you know, when that field gets shorter and there's not as much space to work with against a really good defense, you you got to be on your p's and q's, and you got to be able to execute and and make the plays. Um, so yeah. One of the things that Aiden said to us too was that he felt like this might be good for the team. You guys would bounce back. Last year, you had a similar early loss to Seattle and did just fine. What do you learn from this and, and what makes you think this team, what have you guys done in the past that helps you understand that this team can bounce back from something like this? I feel like games like this really help you hone in on the details because, again, like I said, like it, it felt like we were moving the ball, um, but then when it comes down to the details of let's get the ball in the end zone, it just didn't happen. Um, so we had multiple opportunities there at the end of the game to go and win it. Um, and. I mean, we just didn't do enough. So I think it's going to have to really get down to like the nitty gritty of the details of the game. Um, so that's probably it. Man, he's doing his thing, man. He he did his thing today. And, you know, I hate we couldn't get a win for him, but what a hell of a performance, you know, go out there. A guy who, who is, I believe, one of the premier rushers in this league to go out there and really prove it and do it, you know. And, you know, that's just who he is. He works hard. The kid works really, really hard. From seeing him on tape and mm -hmm. seeing him throughout camp, I mean, to play alongside him, mm -hmm. what, what's the different level that you've seen? In uh, game? Just really his maturity for a guy. What is it, year three? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for a guy in year three, his maturity and how he, uh, you know, he cares about himself and about the game. And not just that, he also is one of the guys. It's not like he's sitting over there off mm -hmm. himself. Like, you know what I'm saying? That he does a good job of being an amazing teammate. Um, I think that's really like what. It is for me. The football stuff, it takes care of itself because I know he's a great player, but as a teammate, he's really, really good. You know, he makes sure guys are on point. Um, and, you know, he's just one of the guys. It's dope to be around him. Ah, you know, I think everybody kicks themselves, but, you know, you. it's good to hear, you know, just everybody take accountability. You know, you come in here and he wears his heart in his sleeve and he tells us how it is. And you can respect that. Being a player in this league, I've been in here for a long time. I've heard so many speeches of, oh, we just got to get better. We just got to do this. We just got to do that. And that flies over your head. So eventually, like, you know, when you sit up there and you pour your heart out, everybody's looking in your eye. We understand. We get it. And also, like, 
We all make mistakes, so it's not like we beat him over the head for it, but you can tell he cares, and that's that's huge. That's you know that's why he leads and we follow. I'm sure it is. Everybody's got egos, but you got to check your ego sometimes, and I think the good ones do. Did play that well and, and come up empty? What are the emotions following that loss? Uh, I, I, I think we're a type of team that don't blame, you know, special teams, defense, offense, you know, as a team, as a, as a unit. Um, you know, obviously, you know, we came up short, but, um, you know, just, just things we can correct as a, as a team. Um, you know, defense, I think, played, you know, well today. Um, but, you know, in those, in these games like this, we have to find a way to, you know, score as a defense and get the ball back for our offense because our offense is dynamic, um, you know, from top to bottom, line from the old line to the running backs, the receivers, to our quarterback, obviously, uh, tight ends. So, uh, you know, we, we're definitely going to pick it up next week. So. Finished with six tackles today to lead the team. Aiden Hutchinson, five sacks. How crazy is that? You know, and I always, you know, because I, I do a little rushing too. Uh, <laughs> and he really made me think about my life. Like <laughs> seriously, like sometimes I'd be like, "Am I living right? Like, am I? I think I'm living right. You know, I'm, 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 I'm loyal. I'm, you know, smiling all the time. Outstanding guy. You know." <laughs> A man of God. I'm like, what is he doing? That no, I'm shit. But uh, <laughs> no, but no. Hutch is a uh, you know a guy that I see work every day on his craft. Um, you know, he's younger than me, but I look up to the guy. Uh, I'm always willing to learn. Um, and you know, he's been super helpful for me just throughout the week and, and me getting back into the pass rush and stuff. But uh, no, I man, he's he is unreal. Uh, in my opinion, definitely with the best pass rusher in the league, and um, and and that's that's for sure. But uh, no, he he's. A, Obviously, a great player, man. A guy that I love being around. He's a leader. Um, he, he he wants to win. His strive his his strive is crazy. Um, and we obviously, you know, we like to feed off that. Around. A lot of guys like that on the defense. But uh, no, man, it's it's insane. And I'm, I'm happy for him. But I know he, he's still not going to sleep at night because we didn't win. And that's the type of player and teammate he is. So, uh, you know, love to see it. But, but obviously, you know, the, the performances doesn't matter when if you don't come out with the win. But, so. Certainly. Baker Mayfield is a guy that we know has the ability to scramble a little bit, but it seemed like he really hurt you guys today. Was, was there something that you could have done better to, to slow him down or keep him uh, I mean... I mean, with, with, with Hutch, Hutch having five sacks, and you know, I feel like we hit him a little bit today. Uh, I mean, things happen. Obviously, there's, you know, getting on the edge or getting through the middle. Um, you know, we have great defensive line, um, great edge rushers. So um, I really can't tell. That's something I have to go back and watch the film and see. But, uh, you know, I don't, you know, Baker, I give all the credit to him. He is a, a mobile quarterback in, in aspects. But, uh, you know, that's just one thing we have to go back and watch and see how we can correct the correctables and, and, and not let it happen again. So. I kind of imagine there's still a couple of things that you guys yeah. didn't do that yeah. you wish you could have. What, what is their specific thing? Of course, you know, as a defensive, you know, backfield, man, we want to get our hands on the ball. You know, uh, you know, it was tough. You know, we want to have at least two a, two a game. You know, even even for myself, you know, I think about what I could do more you know, to get my hands on a, a ball, you know, try to force those turnovers, you know. So as a defensive back, we just got to, you know, backfield, I mean, as a defense whole, we just got to suck this one up, man, and, and you know, uh, Focus on next week because all the time next week is always the you know the most important game. A lot of players are talented. Yeah. Chris Godwin, the yeah. special one. What was he doing that made him so difficult to contain today? It's a great you know that. It's a great team, man. You know that's all I can say. You know that's a that's a great team. You know uh, we respect him and and um, thirteen. You know we we know what they bring to the table, man. You know we just try to slow them down today. Thank you all.